Hi, this is Cami. Welcome and welcome back to my luxury channel where I don't edit. I don't have the greatest equipment. My thumbnails are eh. My lighting isn't so great. It's getting dark now, so I got to do this really fast. I had to come on here and I had to do this video because I thought it was very important. Um, if you've been following me, you know that I recently, when I say recently, I just purchased this about nine months ago from Farfetch. And it's the Valentino Mini Tote, Rock Stud Tote. I like Valentino. I've had a couple of bags. Um, I still do. I mean, I sold before even YouTube. I, I sold a Valentino. But I do have um, a black barrel uh, Rock Stud bag and the uh, big uh, tote. There, you know, the big Rock Stud tote. Um, and I've never had any issues with Valentino. Uh, that tote I think I bought on Neiman Marcus and the uh, barrel I bought on Farfetch as well as this bag I also bought on Farfetch. Now also if you know me I'm very picky about where I make my purchases. I don't trust many places. I don't tend to buy pre-owned. I've been buying a little more pre-owned lately because the prices of new are just ridiculous and if you buy from Fashion File you could put it on layaway for two months so it makes it a lot easier. Um, but this I bought on Farfetch and it was literally half price. I got it for half price. This is a 22 without tax, $2,200 bag. Um, I've never had any issues with Farfetch. From my understanding, they're legitimate. I went shopping on Saturday. This is just a couple of days ago. Well, almost a week ago. And I was sporting my uh, Valentino crossbody here i am walking in the supermarket live and learn maybe you don't wear designer bags to the supermarket but i don't go anywhere else so what am i going to do right i'm wearing it it's crossbody i'm looking all cool in my valentino feeling the tomatoes and as i'm walking all of a sudden it crashes to the floor it just crashes to the friggin floor if you guys know me I can be a little bit mm, rough around the edges. You had to see me. I had to control myself because I didn't want people to look at me as I was cursing under my breath and mumbling about how much I want to kill somebody and why am I buying luxury bags because they're made of crap and why would I even spend money like this on bags that the quality has gone down? Why, why, why? I finished my shopping, I came home, I had to hold the bag in my hand the rest of the time I had to run into a few places. Let me show you what happened. Simply the D-ring came right out of the inside. You see, this side is the D-ring right here. And on this side, it's missing. It just pulled out. I don't stuff my bags. It was not heavy. I had a, my phone. No, I didn't even have a phone. I had my phone probably in my pocket. I had a card case, my keys, and a hand sanitizer. <laughs> that was it. I might have had the phone too. That was it. I absolutely love this bag, and I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to do? Well, it's going to be covered by Valentino, right? I mean, I only have the bag nine months. That should not happen with a designer bag. So, as soon as I get home, I call uh, the 800 Valentino number, and they told me I have to go to a standalone place. Not um, Short Hills Mall. They don't participate in repairs. It had to be in Manhattan. There's two sh stores, boutiques, Soho and Madison Avenue. So I call the one on Soho, and the girl says, Yes, no problem. It's wonderful. We can we can do it. It shouldn't cost you anything. You have a two year warranty. I'm like, whoo! Thank you, thank you. Um, she said, let me just speak to my manager and I will email you the information. I said, I can't get to Manhattan. I hate going to Manhattan. I'm not going to Manhattan. Um, I want to be able to ship it. Okay, I'll get back to you. So, in the interim, I said, let me be safe and call Farfetch. So I call Farfetch and I speak to a very nice guy and he says, 
I'm going to put in this claim to the partners that we sell it with, you know, that it was sold from. And I will get back to you in, in an email by tomorrow morning or maybe sooner. So I said, okay, this is good. You know, it's, it's again, it's nine months old. The bag is pristine. It looks like it's never been used because it was my third time, third time. That's it. In the interim, I got an email from the woman at the Soho shop in Valentino. And when I reiterated, I sent all the photos and I sent the email receipt from Farfetch, my invoice showing when I purchased it. It was only nine months ago. She gets back to me and says, oh no, we're not responsible for anything that you purchased outside of a Valentino boutique. Well, I said very nicely in my text, I don't get it. It's still an authentic Valentino bag. It should be covered under Valentino policy, no matter where I get it. And she said, you know, I'm very sorry, but that's our policy. We cannot even send it for repair and have you pay for it. We don't repair any bags that were not purchased in a Valentino boutique. Now my, now my temples are popping, 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 popping. So now I have Farfetch and I have, you know, Farfetch is doing their investigating and the Soho manager, I'm not going to mention her name, from Valentino, um, I want to put a hit out on. Yota from Yota Style said to me, why don't you try calling the other boutique called Madison Avenue? I'm like, they're all the same, Yota. It, it, it's it's going to be the same. The boutiques have to follow the same policy. She's like, well, I had an issue with sunglasses once and I went to one place and they didn't honor it and then the other place did. So you never know, give it a shot. So I said, all right, you know what? I am, let, let me just, I'm, 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 I wanna cry. I wanna cry because this is one of my favorite bags. I want to cry. I call Madison Avenue and I'm gonna say the name of the person I spoke to. Her name is Samantha. She's the director of that boutique. She's been there six years. And I told her my situation and she said, well, of course we'll fix it. It's, it's under two year warranty. I said, wait a minute. I said, the girl at Soho. And I told her the name and she goes, oh, no, she's new and she gave you the wrong information. I will absolutely call the manager there and make sure that they are aware of the correct information. I said, I was going to have a stroke. She's like, I would imagine so. And then we got to talking. We were talking on the phone for like a half hour. She was telling me that all Valentino bags are still handmade. She's been to the warehouse. Each person, like an assembly line, has a different job. Like one person puts the studs on. One person... Sorry. One person does the glazing. One person does the sewing. It's just, you know, really, it was a really interesting conversation. She was so nice. She said, we will send you a label, a shipping label right now through email. You don't even have to send us pictures. Just put a little note in the bag of what the problem is. If you have everything, that's great. And yes, this will be taken care of for you. The bag is nine months old. And she said, and she said, so... For all of you out there, I said, is Farfetch legitimate? Are you, is that somewhere we should be buying? She said she's 100% confident with Farfetch. They are absolutely authorized to sell Valentino bags. So that made me feel really good. I don't know if that's the case with every design house, um, but she said, Farfetch is absolutely authorized to sell Valentino. They're, they wouldn't partner with them if they didn't think they were legitimate and, and giving you know buyers authentic products. So I was so happy about that. But this is what I wanted to tell you. This is the tip. This is the important part. Because I got an email from Farfetch saying, we're sorry, it's over the uh, return window. It should have been like, it, it, it's, they give a very long return window. I think the email said six months. Regardless, I said, well, Valentino's going to take care of it anyway um, because it's under the Valentino warranty. And he was like, that's so great. I'm so happy to hear that, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. And I said, 
you should have that in the small print somewhere in far fetch. It should say, we are not going to be responsible for any bag under, you know, if it's not within our return policy for any luxury bag, check with the brand first and make sure that they will cover a bag that needs repair within a certain amount of time if it's purchased from Farfetch. So please, all of you out there, if you buy from Farfetch, whatever design or brand it is, make sure you check with the design house first and make sure that they're not gonna say, oh no, we don't deal with Farfetch or they're not authorized to sell. If you find it on Farfetch, it's most likely authorized. I would imagine it's authorized because Farfetch is a legitimate site and it's a legitimate platform. So I would imagine, but if you want to feel better and have a little peace of mind, make sure you check with a design house what their return policy is. Um, repair policy, I mean, not return policy. Make sure you know the return policy for Farfetch or any other place. And make sure you know whether or not the design house, the boutiques, will honor the bag if it's bought somewhere else. They might not if it's, you know, I, I don't know. I think they should. I think it shouldn't matter. As long as it's deemed authentic, they should honor their, their policies. Um, but anyway, so that's what I wanted to say. And I'm just very glad. I don't know how long it's gonna take. That's my only concern because it's a spring. I can't wear it cross body or shoulder now. I could only carry a top handle. I don't want to do that. So I hope it's not going to be a three-month thing because I want this bag for the spring. That was the whole point. I took it out on the weekend. It was sunny. It was beautiful. I said, I'm going to take out my Valentino. And boom. And if you know me, <laughs> it went on the floor in the grocery store. I was sick to my stomach because I was going to start wiping it down with hand sanitizer. I've done that. <laughs> I've done that. But I was really afraid because this leather is just scrumptious. So I got home and I put it on the side and I said, God, just please kill all the germs in the next few days. I won't touch it. I won't put it back in the dust bag. I just left it sitting. So I'm assuming <laughs> whatever got on it died over the last week. Well, that's my lesson of the day. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I don't know when you're seeing this, so I'm not going to say I have some things coming up, but you know I always have something coming up. So uh, anyway, have a great day. Have a great night. Have a great weekend, whenever it might be that you're watching this. And I will see you guys soon. Take care.